Mm, yeah, hello, my name is Lag, and you're probably wondering what I'm doing in the bank when I have a bank bet. Now, I do not have the answer to that question, but I can tell you what the best way to level up is. So, the first thing you want to do is take a look at this adventure menu and click on the main story. Now, the, this is in order for the most part, so if you want to do your own thing, just follow this, that's fine. But where it really comes into play, where you need to shake things up a bit is the jumping back and forth because you are going to have to jump back and forth a little bit to get these things done because the storyline is not as linear as you would like it to be in terms of your power, in terms of power scaling. Nothing that you do here matters before I would say the Shadow Skull Bridge. So you're going to do your intro, Green Guard, Heartwood, Livingstone Caverns, Doomwood, Bone Cliffs, and then you get to Shadow Skull Bridge. The Shadow Skull Bridge is probably going to be the biggest hurdle or the first hurdle, first major hurdle I should say that you will encounter and it's going to feel like a, a severe roadblock. It's going to like slap you in the face because you are going to be killing things like there's no tomorrow in the Bone Cliffs and then you hit Shadow Skull Bridge and you feel like you get hit by a truck, right? You don't know what, you don't know what happened. So that's normal. Okay, what you need to do, you'll probably level 13 by then or level 14, depending. Just jump straight to Ashfall and start that saga. Now, if you do need gear, uh, there's a guy in Ashfall Saga. Let me take you. Uh, he's actually at the beginning of a lot of the starter areas, but you don't have to worry about gearing up, at least until at this point, right? You can just grab some from this guy. His name is Justin Case. And it's fairly affordable, right? Uh, it's like 1,000 gold each, level 14 gear. If that's not to your liking, let me give you the formula that I use for gearing up during the leveling process. But first, let me hop on my alt to, uh, to give you a better demonstration. If you want to farm for the gears in the different areas, then that's fine. You can take your time and do that. It's however you want to play the game. But if you don't want to waste time farming, at the lower levels then just come to Saladin because these mobs are still scale until level 37 anyway and you just kill a couple of these mobs and you can see that it doesn't take any time at all I am level 14 my gear is trash and these mobs don't do all that much damage to me and I can get a lot of gear very very quickly and let's see oh that compares to what I'm wearing right now see it's actually a lot better so your first step for gearing up will probably be like level 13 or 14 and then you're going to continue the ash fall. And this is going to be a formula every couple of levels. Like every time you level up and you feel like the enemies in a particular area are doing too much damage to you and or you're not doing enough damage to them, then ask yourself when was the last time you geared up and just come to Saladin and spend 10-15 minutes of that much get some new gear, get a new weapon, and then continue with your grind. I wouldn't recommend going back to the Shadow Skull Bridge until you are almost 100% done with Ashwall. You should be like level 17-ish. And that should be enough for you to completely decimate the Shadow Skull Bridge. And it'll, you know, it might seem like just five levels or four levels, but you'd be amazed uh, how much of a difference that would make in that era in particular because it's not that the mobs are hard to kill it's just the sheer number of mobs and it, it was it was meant to be a roadblock from from what i understand because the story isn't meant to be sped through you're supposed to spend time enjoying the main story while doing some of the side stories but once you're done with that you're done with the shadows called bridge and ashfall you're going to start lelosia and depending on how fast you do your progression you're going to become level locked again at some point, I think around level 21. So you're gonna go over to Darkovia and then you will do the entire saga up until when you get into the Darkovia castle and you have to switch the library because there is a bit of a DPS check there. And even if you have been doing the gearing up with the scaled gear, I don't think you're gonna be able to take down Lord Anemis, uh, the vampire guy that uses lots of poison. What I recommend is heading over to your side stories 
and the two that you want to focus on right off of the bat or the one that you want to focus on sorry would be the burger hero okay and i do have some footage of that from when i was doing my 45 hour challenge that's where i need to introduce the daily task system to you there are 10 daily tasks that you can do and then one big reward that you collect you don't need to do all 10 you can if you want to but the minimum to achieve the the the, the big reward is eight right and that's a that's a huge chunk of xp and from level 21 you would want to have the burger king done sorry did i just say burger king burger hero you want to have burger hero done so that you have access to that daily which is another big chunk of xp if you're still looking for something to do and you are waiting for your dailies to reset or you just want to kill some time before you log off and you just can't progress in the story anymore you can go back to any one of these areas here that you didn't get the gear from and just grind it because at this point it'll just be cosmetic to you the stats won't really matter and they'll be really easy to get because you are much higher level than the things in that area so it'll be really easy to get now this is where spacing your grind out might help you know pacing things and the dailies do help with the xp so at some point you will be able to finish the dark Warrior quest line and once that is done you will be able to start arc and grow up at around level 25 26 maybe 27 i think it's 27. Now, once you get to Arkham Grove, this is where I need to introduce the second daily to you, which will be the Atlantis daily. Now, you can do this um, before that, like in your early level 20s, and that's fine. But now this is where you start stacking daily tasks or daily quests. So, what you want to do is you're going to go do your big hero, then you'll do the Atlantis daily. And then you're going to do your daily tasks. And that is going to give you a sizable chunk of XP every single day to your XP bar. And you're going to catch up in levels in no time. And if you are doing the, the scaled gear method, then you should be absolutely fine. And you'll be able to complete Arkham Grove easy peasy. And if you do that for a couple of days, you should be able to get to level 33 which will take you through the entirety of Sand Sea for the most part. If at any point during the Sand Sea Saga you do get level locked out of something, just go to the Fiendlands or start your Nolgath quest stuff and just do that because it is a fairly long quest line, but it doesn't is not is not connected to the Sand Sea in any way. So your progression is not locked. Now bear in mind that the challenge version of the dungeons uh, in Sansi you may not be able to do them with scaled gear. So if you do want to do them at lower levels then you can grind the gear for them. I don't really recommend it. I generally don't recommend gearing up before level 43. Like I don't recommend grinding for gear before level 43. Now that you're level 43 and you're wondering where to actually get gear, you should go to the Forge of the Forlorn. Come, let me show you, actually. So adventure menu, let's go to world areas, scroll down to the Fiendlands, and we will go to the Forge of the Forlorn. Over here in the Forge of the Forlorn, you are going to head straight. Uh, you're gonna take a left and then a right straight into this cave. And this will be, where are they? Yep. And on the right, at the entrance, there will be four-man Shale, and Shale has the Forge Miner gear. And this is level 43. This is 840 power gear. Sorry, this is level 42 and 43. All right, so you can just see what's best for you. These mobs inside here are very easy to kill at level 43. It will probably take you half an hour to gear up. And you can probably infuse this gear a little bit if you want to. It'll just cost you some gold and probably augment it a little bit. Once you're done with everything else in here, including the Sansi Saga, the only thing left is to finish your Fiendland Saga and get the endgame items. So the Forge Miner set will be a really good base set if you are level 43. And that should take you through your Nolgas Saga if you haven't completed it by that point. 
and if you have it will be a really good gear set to help you on your grind for the level uh, 45 gear. I hope this video is helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.